Hello, my name is Edgar Swift. I invented this exciting new tool that we call a Swift Barrel. You'll notice that it looks very similar to a conventional wheelbarrow. It can also be used identically the same way that you would use a conventional wheelbarrow. That, however, is where the uh, similarities end. What I've got here is a dime that I've taped to this white piece of paper so you can follow it as I do my demonstration. I'm first going to show you how we can make a turn on that dime. You will notice that I'm using the rear wheels as my pivot point. Now the significance of that is that you can make a turn using a swift barrel in about one half the space or radius than you could make that same turn using a uh, conventional wheelbarrow. The advantage of that is that if you have applications whereby you have to turn very sharp corners and tight quarters, what I just showed you is an advantage. Now when I turn the wheelbarrow around, I now have it headed down this sloped driveway. But if I were to re release control of my handle uprights for any reason, the rear wheels would lock. So that would prevent the swift barrel from coasting away down a hill, for example, on its own. It's what we call our own biased braking system, and that's really the heart of this invention. It enables the wheelbarrow not to just turn on a dime, but also to stop on that dime. I've just shown you two unique capabilities of the swift barrel, but there are a lot of other features here that make it a more versatile and productive tool than a conventional wheelbarrow. So bear with us for about another eight minutes, and we'll show you what those differences are. Thank you. Now I can tell you from my own personal experience that rocks are extremely heavy, and we have tons of them in our yard. What we're going to do is take you on a tour, showing you some of the rocks that I have hauled. None of them are, of course, are as heavy as the one that I'm sitting on here, but I have had to haul a lot of rocks that weigh well over 100 pounds. We'll take a look at a couple of those uh, situations, and then we'll go back and take a closer look at this swift barrel. The rock that you see in the uh, foreground here is a little bit over 100 pounds. These are just some rock formations that I have out in the front yard, out uh, near the end of my driveway and around my uh, mailbox. Now this one used to be a tree trunk, but not anymore. It's now a raised rock surrounded plant stand. And finally, just one more raised garden that I'm going to start planting probably, oh, next week sometime. But that's enough of the rocks. Uh, let's get back to the wheelbarrows. The load of rocks that you see here weighs several hundred pounds. <clears throat> Even if you had the physical strength to lift this load to the transport position, you would probably break the handles of the transport tool first. If the wheelbarrow were a model that had only a single front wheel, you would probably pop or flatten that tire as well. A major limitation of a conventional wheelbarrow is that it has immobile struts in the rear rather than wheels. Because of that, you can't push a heavy load like this in cart-like fashion using a conventional wheelbarrow as you can do with the swift barrel. Since the swift barrel can ride on all wheels, we claim that if you can push a stalled Volkswagen, you can certainly push a fully loaded swift barrel. Now let me show you a feature and method of using the swift barrel that makes moving a heavy load such as the one I just showed you even easier or just moving a load up a hill for that matter. It has to do with using this optional pulling ring that I am showing you a close-up of. That pulling ring is attached to the front upper portion of the cargo tray. The following is a practical use of this optional pulling ring. 
what Viv is going to do is take this little short length of rope and hook it to the optional footing ring. And once she's taken a moment to do that, then she's going to pull the load while I push. that should be enough to make our point. Now the key thing here to keep in mind is that what we have done is put this load, or rather distributed this load, among several wheels. If we were using a conventional wheelbarrow that had struts back here, uh, rather than these wheels, there's just no way that any two or three or even four or five people move that load as we just did. So that's about enough for right now, and uh, we're going to set up for another piece of this demonstration. Watch how she climbs these steps using our swift barrel. Keep in mind that those steps could also represent a log, a rock, a street curb, or anything else in the path of the wheelbarrow of the swift barrel's travel. Now that's how we would perform that task of moving that uh, load of firewood, in this case, up. If she were using a conventional wheelbarrow, she would have to turn it around and pull it backwards up and over such obstructions. Otherwise, the front handle guard that she's pointing to would ram into that obstruction, precluding forward movement. Let's pause for a moment now so I can turn around and have Vivian show you how we would move a load down an obstruction such as a curve or a step. Okay, now let's say that that load of firewood that she's carrying represents a fragile load or some kind of a load that could uh, tip, for example, causing a spill. Notice closely what happened to the front wheels and the rear wheels as she gently lowers that load from one step to the other. If she were using a conventional wheelbarrow, that front wheel would likely plop down to the next level, creating either a, uh, a broken, you know, uh, destroying some fragile cargo or possibly causing a spill. It's about to start back raining outside now, but uh, I know that my 10 minute limit for doing this YouTube video is just about up anyway. What you have just seen is a gist of the Swift Barrow's capabilities, and we hope that through our demonstration we have shown you that it has unique capabilities that consumers have been craving for ever since the wheelbarrow was invented well over 2,000 years ago. We have also shown this Swift Barrow to scores of people and let them use it and all of them like it and would like to buy it if and when it becomes available. If either you or your suppliers have a need to know more information about the Swift Barrel or how to contact me, we have put references at the end of this video. If you choose to look at the website, you will find that it's a quick read. It is supported by written, narrated, still photographs. So you won't have to go through it at the same fast pace as you've had to go through this video. Meanwhile, let me just thank you very much for watching our video, and we hope that you have a successful day. Thank you again for watching.